A very good morning to all. Today we will continue from page number 38 and here in this class we will be discussing about hot deserts and frigid zones. So first we will discuss about the hot deserts. Now these deserts are also known as subtropical deserts because they lie near the tropics that is Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. Now this zone experiences extreme climate with day temperature reaching as high as 54 degrees Celsius and it also receives very less rain throughout the year. Now here you can see the world map with the names of few deserts like the Sahara Desert which is known as the world's largest desert is situated in Africa, the Kalahari Desert in Africa, the Thar Desert in India and Pakistan and the Great Australian Desert in Australia. So these are few deserts of this zone. Now next we will discuss about the vegetation. Here very few plants, trees and shrubs are grown due to lack of water and some of them are cactus, acacia, ghost plant and date palms. So this was about the vegetation. Next we will discuss about the wildlife. So the animals found in this desert region, they have adapted themselves to this extreme dry climate with very low temperature and high temperature. For example, you can see here the animals are snakes, hedgehogs, hyenas, beetles, fox, scorpions and here you can see ostrich and camel. So you all know that ostrich is the largest flightless bird and these are found in Sahara and Kalahari desert. And the camel, they are also known as the ship of the desert and they are used to carry goods and people and they have the ability to stay without water for over a week. So this was about the wildlife. Next, let's see the people who live in these region. As you can see here in the picture, the Bedouin are groups of nomadic people who live in the Arabian Peninsula and North Africa. And the nomadic people are those people who move from one place to another in search of food and water. So this was about the hot deserts. Next, we will discuss about the people who live in this region. So the Bedouin are group of nomadic people who live in the Arabian Peninsula and North Africa. Here the nomadic people are those people who move from one place to another in search of food and water. Next, you can see the picture of Tuaregs and they are another group of nomadic people who inhabit the western parts of the Sahara Desert. And they are also the nomadic people who move from one place to another in search of food and water. So this was about the hot deserts. Next we will discuss about the frigid zones. Now this zones consist of two zones that is north frigid zone and south frigid zone. Here in the north frigid zone it includes the tundra region that is without the trees and this region experiences cold climate. Now let's understand what is this tundra region. So tundra is a major zone of treeless level or rolling ground found in cold regions mostly north of the arctic circle. So here as you can see in the picture there are no trees. So this was about the tundra. Next zone is the south frigid zone and it largely comprises Antarctica that is without the tundra region and this zone also experiences very cold climate. Now let's talk about the climatic features of this frigid zones. So here the frigid zones experiences very cold climate and it has two seasons that is summer and winter in which summers are short and winters are long and cold. The polar regions experiences 6 months of continuous daytime and 6 months of continuous night. So this was about the climate. Now let's discuss about the vegetation. 
So due to the cold climate and permanently frozen soil which is known as the permafrost, there is no vegetation in this zone. Now let's understand what does this term permafrost means. So here permafrost is the permanently frozen layer below the earth's surface and it consists of soil, gravel and sand which are bound together by ice. And you can find it in Arctic regions such as Greenland, Alaska, Russia, China and Eastern Europe. And in this zone, the tundra region is characterized by alternate freezing and thawing of ground. Here thawing season is the snow melting season and you can find here lichens and mosses and some scanty grasses. So this was about the vegetation. Next we will discuss about the wildlife. As you can see here some of the animals that live in this region are seals, snow owl, penguins, reindeers, polar bear, arctic fox and so on. And these animals have thick skin and heavy coat of hair to protect them from this extreme cold climate. So this was about the wildlife. Now here since this region is extremely cold, very few people live in this region. Like Inuits are the people living in parts of Greenland, Canada, the United States and Russia. And they live in houses known as igloo. Some other groups of people who live in this region are Chukches of Siberia, Samayets, Lats and Yakuts. So these are group of people who live in this frigid zones. Next you have a zoom in part in your textbook in page number 41. This says that in the polar regions at night in the sky Sometimes it is lit up by naturally occurring bright lights and this occurs because of the collision of charged particles of the sun and the atoms of the earth's atmosphere. So in the northern hemisphere the lights are known as aurora borealis or the northern lights and in the southern hemisphere these lights are known as aurora australis or the southern lights and mostly these lights are green or red in color in the southern hemisphere. So this was about the hot deserts and the frigid zones. Now you can see you have an activity, you have to write the features of equatorial forest, temperate grasslands, hot deserts, frigid zones and you have to mention its climate, vegetation, wildlife and tribes. You have to write it in your notebook and upload in Teams. That's all for today. We'll meet in the next class. Thank you.